Welcome to the Lime Kayak Hire Safety Briefing. To ensure that you have a fun and safe trip, it is important that you watch and listen carefully to the following information. Even on overcast days, you can suffer from glare from the water, dehydration, wind and sunburn. So before you begin, it's important that you make sure you have the following items. A hat, something to drink, sunglasses and sunblock. You need to be aware of the safety equipment, where it can be found and how and when it should be used. We will provide you with the following equipment. A buoyancy aid, a phone, a personal locator beacon and a flare. Each kayak is also equipped with a tracking system. Please wear a buoyancy aid at all times, regardless of how well you can swim. Should you capsize, it will keep you afloat. Do up the zip and tighten the waist strap. It should be a snug fit without restricting movement. You will be given a phone in a waterproof pouch. The phone can be operated through the pouch. To operate the phone, press any key to bring the phone to life. Then press and hold any button between 2 and 9 until SIM 1 voice call is highlighted. Then press OK. The call will be connected using SIM card 1. If SIM 1 has no signal, then shift down to SIM 2 and press OK. The call will be connected using SIM card 2. You will be given a personal locator beacon in a waterproof pouch. This beacon is to be used only in an emergency and you have been unable to use the phone. You can operate the beacon through the pouch. Press and hold the button for 5 seconds until you feel it vibrate. Your location will have been transmitted to the land crew. You will be issued with a handheld flare that emits light and smoke. Instructions on how to use the flare are on the side of the flare itself. The flare is only to be used in an emergency where you need to attract attention and you have been unable to use the phone or personal locator beacon. Each kayak is fitted with a tracking system so that we can monitor your location during your trip. We will only allow you to hire the kayaks if the wind speed and direction ensures a safe trip. If the weather changes and the wind becomes dangerous, we may need to call you back. In the event that we do call you back, you must return immediately. A westerly wind will blow you towards Charmouth. A southerly wind will generate more waves but will blow you back towards shore. A northerly wind will generate calm seas but is potentially the most dangerous as it will blow you offshore. You should not be affected by the tides between Lyme Regis and Charmouth. However, the tide direction is westerly, away from Charmouth on the incoming tide, and easterly towards Charmouth on the outgoing tide. The boundary line is between the end of the Cobb Breakwater Rocks and the Charmouth Heritage Centre. If you stray outside the designated boundary, we will be alerted and will call you on the phone. If you fail to respond to the call, we will need to send out a search team and you may be liable for a £100 call-out fee. If you disembark at Charmouth or the shore en route, please remember that you are responsible for the kayak and equipment. Please keep your kayak and all equipment within sight at all times. If you leave or abandon the kayak and it requires recovery, you may be liable for a £100 recovery charge. Paddling at a leisurely pace, it will take you approximately 45 minutes to paddle to Charmouth. Please bear in mind that paddling time increases if you are returning into a headwind. Give yourself plenty of time to complete the return journey. In case of an emergency, stay calm. If you are able, call in and let us know. We can send help or, if necessary, contact the Coast Guard. Remember, we have your position information from the onboard tracker. The personal location beacon and flare are for use in life and death situations only. We will supply you with a handline and a floating lure. This will catch a number of species including mackerel, garfish and sea bass. Tow the lure about 10 metres behind the kayak and paddle slowly. 
The lure will dive below the surface as you move along. Remember, there are size and catch limits for sea bass in Lime Bay. You may wish to purchase a selection of lures, or even a small rod and reel kit. You are also welcome to use your own fishing gear. Your kayak is numbered and stored in the racking next to the harbour master's office. You will be given a key with the corresponding kayak number. Unlock your kayak and reattach the lock to the racking. Clip the key to your buoyancy aid or place it in one of the waterproof pouches. We will supply you with a set of wheels that attach to the rear of the kayak. Attach the wheels to the kayak to allow you to tow the kayak to the water. Once at the water's edge, the wheels store on top of the rear of the kayak. You may launch your kayak from two places. If there is sufficient water, you may launch from the public slipway in the harbour. Be careful not to launch from the lifeboat slipway. If there is not enough water in the harbour, then you may launch from the sandy beach next to the harbour, towards Charmouth. We will provide you with two leashes. The first leash attaches from your buoyancy aid to the kayak. The second leash attaches from your paddle to the kayak. To get on your kayak, Put the bow of the kayak in the water such that the rear of the kayak is just on the slipway or beach. Sit on top of the kayak. Ensure your leashes are securely attached and push yourself off. In the unlikely event that the kayak capsizes, do not panic. You may be able to right the kayak and reboard. If you are unable to reboard, stay with the kayak and follow the emergency procedures. At the end of your session, please return your kayak to the storage rack, securely locking it in place. Ensure that you return the key, wheels, and all equipment to the tackle box shop. Finally, there is a laminated sheet in the watertight compartment in the kayak containing much of the safety information. You may wish to locate this and have a read through before you launch. When this film is finished, you will need to pay, leave a deposit, sign the necessary forms, get your kayak key and get changed. Oh, and have a great time! <laughs>